Let's discover a simple tool to organize events and meetings with your friends, your teams, or even your family. Its name is Rally with 3L and it's a free open source alternative to the historically well-known Doodle. The first time you open it, you have to create an account, go to create a new account, enter your name and your email. It's a passwordless system, you receive an email directly to your inbox. Open it, copy the six digits, paste it in the input and continue. The interface looks very good, it's quite simple and what interests us is to organize polls. Hit new poll, let's say we want to organize a coding session meetup. Location, it will be at a WeWork Tokyo, a co-working space, and please enter your availability team. Continue, then you can choose between dates or time slots that people will be able to select to organize that event and find the perfect time. You have the choice between month and week view. If you choose the month view, by default, it will select the entire day, but you can click on specified times and you will be able to say at what time during that day people will be able to select. Or instead of selecting days on the calendar, you can select the week view and you see on the left the hours, so it's easier if you need to select hours. So I'd say week view is more when you want to specify time and month view is when you want to specify date, but here it can be complicated to visualize the different dates. What is great is that the, it automatically detects your time zone. So generally you will use your time zone and user will automatically see the time converted into their time zone. Let's keep those settings and hit create poll. This view I get is because I'm the admin of that poll. I have the share link, I can copy it and share it with my team, friends or anyone else. Let's open the link in private browsing. Here I appear as a guest. I have all the information. I have my time zone automatically detected, but if it's wrong for any reason, maybe my laptop has false settings, I can update it here. Then I need to say if I'm available at those dates. So one click is for yes. Another one, you have the legend here, if I need to be, so it's a maybe. And another click is no. If I don't uh, set anything, it's uh, considered as no. Let's enter random things like maybe, maybe yes, no, and we don't set uh, those values. I can hit continue. And because I don't have an account on that instance of Rally, because I'm in private browsing, it's asking me my information. Let's say Wasim2, and I will use another email. So it, it highlights my answer here and submit. Now, even if I'm a guest, I can still view the other answers to have an idea of what is likely to happen. If we go back to the admin view, I didn't have to reload the page to see the other answer, by the way. I still have my answers to be set and I see the other answers as well. I really appreciate is that we have a bunch of transactional email. This one was created automatically when I created the poll. So I received the admin link and the participant link to share it with the people I need to. Then as a participant, as you can see, it's a plus two email. I received that email telling me thank you and I still have a link to update my response or see the results. But also as the administrator, I received that email telling me that Wasim2 has responded to coding session meetup. Of course, if you don't like to receive too many mails, you can turn notifications off. Let's get back to our poll. You can see here the notification button if you want to stop receive email when something happened. Let's enter my availability for that event. And continue. Here it's asking me my info, but I'm already logged in, so maybe it's something they can improve. But it's optional, so I don't need to set it, and I hit submit. So I can see that it's me. Maybe it's if I want to enter an, a different name to what users can see. I'm also able to leave a comment. I will decide on the date soon, and I can comment. On the other session, without a reload, you can have the message and the other answers. Once everyone answered, you can go to manage and log the poll for no further answers. Something that is a bit disappointing is the fact that there is no button to say to everyone, okay, this is the chosen date. So you can add a comment and everyone will be notified, but it's not a not automatic way to do it and it's not highlighted here in the visual form. So what do we like about Rally? First thing, it is simple to use. The UI is clean. It provides a lot of email notifications. There are multiple languages available. 
The documentation is clean and highlights all the features available. What we'd like to see to make it an even better product would be to have an end date for the answers from the people. But by looking to the frequently asked question, we can see that there is that question. It is not a feature available right now, but it may come in the future. And another thing that would be highly appreciated is to select the final date for the event and to notify everyone. Rally is a free product. They have a pro license with additional features, but you can use their cloud for free. Or as an open source project, you can also deploy it to your own instance. Now, if you want to create your own instance of Rally on Elastio, go to elast.io, hit login, deploy my first service, search for Rally with 3L, select, choose your cloud provider. I will choose Scaleway. Then choose your region and your service plan, how much CPU and RAM you need. Hit next. Choose your level of support. Enter the name of your service, but there's one by default. Your email for the admin and hit create service. When your instance is ready, you receive an email and you just have to follow the instruction. Click here, create your account and start your journey. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please hit the like button as it really helps our channel grow and be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our upcoming videos. And if you want to discover new open source software through our product overview, watch this video here.